It's another Friday. And I'm so glad and so happy to be here. I'm continuing our Friday tonic where I was philosophical about the lessons of life. Last Friday, I spoke on embracing impermanence. I hope we all benefited from that virtual training. I said this September report, I want to be more visual in my presentation so that we can see and understand what I'm talking on, on Fridays. Today, my title is Embracing Vulnerability. Embracing Vulnerability. The real pathway for connection and transiting. You will see it by the time I talk more about it. My name is Josephine. I'm your digital educator. And this is Language Jews, an Academy of Knowledge Economy. Tuesday, I teach a course in one of my areas of specialization, philosophy of religion and theology. But Fridays like this, I discuss German important issues that serve us as lessons of life. And this Friday is not going to be different. But let's join Language Jews. I welcome you back. If you are new or just tuning in now, my name is Josephine. This is Lang with Joe's. Fridays like this, I talk on a theme or discuss an important issue I termed Friday tonic. It's lessons for life. This September, I've decided to be more visual to work philosophical. Um, last Friday, I started it by discussing, embracing impermanence. This Friday, I'm going to discuss on embracing vulnerability. I know I need to show you PowerPoint slides for you to visualize and understand exactly what I'm talking about so that you can follow me. For those who are new, I want to subscribe, please kindly click the subscribe button. And if you are, Subscribe, you have not turned on the notification bar, turn it on place. And please, I will appreciate it if you tell others, if you like what we discuss on this channel. Thank you. Hold on, please. Embracing vulnerability, the path to authentic connections and personal growth. I want you to underline the word authentic because when you embrace your vulnerability, then you are on your original way to connecting with people. And then you will experience personal growth. Let me describe what I mean by vulnerability because and what I want to do here. In this thought provoking discussion, I'm diving into the transformative power of embracing vulnerability as a fundamental aspect of building meaningful connections and fostering personal growth. That is the mission here. Join me as I explore the depths of vulnerability, unravel its significance, and provide insights into reframing fear. Some of us are very much afraid of our vulnerability. We don't want to talk about it. You don't want people to know about it. So what I'm trying to do here is to unravel the significance and provide insight into reframing fear and resistance as sources of strength. So you can turn your fear to strength. You can turn your resistance as a resource for strength. And through this discussion, you understand how vulnerability can lead you toward authenticity and the profound enrichment of your relationships. The essence of vulnerability. Vulnerability involves allowing yourself to be seen and understood, even when it means revealing your imperfections. 
No one is truly perfect, honestly. We all have our weak points. We all have our strength. So nobody is, nobody is perfect. So vulnerability involves allowing yourself to be seen and understood, even when it means revealing your imperfections, your fears, and uncertainties. It's about opening up and experiencing, expressing your genuine thoughts and feelings without hiding behind a facade. By embracing vulnerability, you create a space for genuine connections and authentic interactions to flourish. Building meaning and connections and for personal growth. Vulnerability is the bridge that connects hearts and minds. When you are willing to share your vulnerabilities, you trust others enough to let them in. That's it. That means you must have that person you are exposing your vulnerability to must be trustworthy enough that you want to share with such a person. So this leads to deeper emotional connections and the growth of mutual understanding. It's one of the things that connects spouses. If you are a husband or a wife and you are not embracing your vulnerability within yourself, sharing within yourself, then you don't have this deep emotional connection between yourselves. Sharing your struggles and insecurities can make you relatable, fostering empathy and compassion in others. Stepping out of your comfort zone and facing your fears head on requires vulnerability. And by acknowledging your limitations and embracing discomfort, you challenge yourself to grow and evolve. This process of self-discovery builds resilience self-awareness and the ability to navigate challenges with greater sense. Fear and resistance surrounding vulnerability or reframing vulnerability as strength. Many people fear vulnerability due to concerns about judgment. You know, some people, they feel this person, they are judgmental. If I allow myself to, if I share my vulnerability with them, they will judge me. They will reject me. They, it looks as if I'm weak. Societal norms often dictate that vulnerability is a sign of inadequacy. But these fears can stem from past experiences of art or embarrassment. Acknowledging these fears is the first step towards dismantling them. So vulnerability is not a sign of weakness at all, but a courageous act requiring self-assuredness. You display authenticity and strength when willing to share your vulnerabilities. Reframe vulnerability as a powerful tool for growth, learning, and genuine connection. You can imagine yourself with breaking the walls. These are walls, there's somebody breaking walls to go in. Embracing for that's science of vulnerability. Authenticity is about being true to yourself. In being true to yourself, you need to break walls. You shed pretenses and let your authentic self shine. When you are genuine, you invite others to do the same. Creating an environment where relationships are built on trust and sincerity. There are studies that demonstrate the positive effects of vulnerability on mental health, emotional well-being, and relationship satisfaction. So vulnerability releases oxytocin, the bonding hormone which promotes trust and connection. So if you don't embrace your vulnerability, you will be holding on to certain things that we, your oxytocin will not be released. So you need to release your oxytocin. That bonding hormone 
that promotes trust and connection. Break that wall. Share your pretenses. Be authentic. Let your authentic self shine forth. Deepening relationships, overcoming cultural stigmas. Yeah, there are stigmas. Some people give you some, but you can overcome them. Vulnerability paves the way for deeper relationships by allowing emotional intimacy to flourish. There are many couples before they get married, they don't they, they, they don't confide in each other. You don't tell each other things. And when those things are discovered, after the marriage, it leads to break up of that marriage because the trust that I should have been there in, before was negated, was never there. Seen cases of some women, maybe in their youth or whatever, they are the love child. Now they meet this man that is, oh, they love the man, is the love of the life, and they're afraid that if they tell this man they have the child before, outside marriage, the man will not want to go ahead with the marriage. Why don't you let the man know? If you want to marry, you love you, you love you, see, marry you. But when you don't, it leads to, it leads to what we are called breakage of marriage. The same thing with men. That's why when couples come together and they are planning their marriage, they need to embrace their vulnerabilities. They need to be true to themselves. They need to share all pretenses, come clean, and let the authentic self shine forward. So when both individuals are willing to share their vulnerabilities, they create a safe space where mutual support and understanding can thrive. Different cultures and societies perceive vulnerability differently. Some cultures encourage open expression of emotions and vulnerability, and some prioritize stoicism. Communication skills for vulnerability, that is balancing vulnerability with privacy. There must be a balance. In anything one does, there must be a balance. Some practical communication techniques that help individuals express their vulnerabilities effectively, include active listening, empathy, and validating responses to create a safe environment for conversation vulnerability. When you are conversing with the person you are embracing your vulnerability with, the person must have listening ear, must show empathy, um, and then have validating responses. You just, you just don't keep quiet. The responses that validate whatever the elder person is talking about. And at times you need to maintain personal boundaries while being vulnerable. I need to caution this. There are times that you need to maintain personal boundaries while being vulnerable. You must learn how to strike a balance between sharing openly and protecting sensitive information. Other aspects of vulnerability to note. I just want you to know this. And then you could read more about it yourself, or it's like throwing a kite. I'm just throwing a kite out there for you to reach out and learn more. Vulnerability in creative expression, artists, writers, musicians and other creative individuals often channel a vulnerability into their work. Creative expression can be a therapeutic outlet for embracing and processing emotions. Building a supportive community. It is important to surround oneself with a supportive community that values vulnerability. Find like-minded individuals who appreciate authenticity who can positively impact personal growth and relationships. Then embracing vulnerability in a professional way. Settings, in a professional settings. You know, vulnerability can foster better teamwork, especially in your workplace. When you are in your workplace, 
vulnerability can foster better teamwork, leadership, and innovation. Leaders who embrace vulnerability create more inclusive and productive work environments. Mindfulness and vulnerability. Mindfulness practices can help individuals become more attuned to their emotions and more comfortable with vulnerability. Challenges and obstacles. Yeah, there are challenges of embracing vulnerability. You have some challenges, but such as facing rejection, because at times when you allow, you open up your vulnerability, some people might reject you. Or navigating situations where vulnerability may not be reciprocated. You are shedding your vulnerability. The other people or the other person, they are not doing their own like that. So navigating through that might become some challenges. So one needs to strike a balance. When you're doing it, you need to strike a balance. The practical tips for embracing vulnerability, start small. In everything, start small. That is, begin by sharing a minor vulnerability with someone you trust and see how that person handles it. It could be expressing a minor fear or an insecurity you've been grappling with, but let it be minor, small one. That even if that person rejects or is not navigating properly or ties orders or whatever, you know that person can never be trusted. So you don't continue to share with such a person. Choose the right person. It's very essential and important to choose the right person. Share your vulnerabilities with people who are proving themselves trustworthy and understanding. And for you to know somebody is trustworthy, you will, when you start small with such a person, you begin to understand such a person better and you can know if that person is trustworthy. Be honest with yourself. Reflect on your fears and reservations about vulnerability. Understand why you might be resistant and work on addressing those concerns. Practice self-compassion. You know, in everything, only charity begins at home. So you yourself practice self-compassion. Treat yourself kindly. I've said it before in one of my other videos. You need to treat yourself with love. You need to treat yourself kindly. When you are vulnerable, remember that being imperfect is a part of being human. When you do something that, oh, you are imperfect, you don't need to hate yourself. You don't need to blame yourself so much. Treat yourself with compassion, self-compassion. Set boundaries. While vulnerability is significant, you must set boundaries and share what you are comfortable sharing. Don't just go blue, 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 blah, blah, boom. You understand what I mean? You must know what you are comfortable sharing with people. Focus on the process, not the outcome. Embrace vulnerability for personal growth and connection rather than seeking a specific response from others. Embrace failure. Not every attempt at vulnerability will yield a positive response. Be prepared for varied responses. Remember that it's a learning process. Remember, it's a learning process. In conclusion, by embracing vulnerability, you open doors to deeper connections, personal growth, and authentic living. You are unclogged. And when you're unclogged, you are free, you have peace, you are happy, you radiate joy, you radiate happiness. So it's a journey that requires courage and self-compassion. Remember that vulnerability is a strength that can lead to more prosperous relationships and a more fulfilling life. So take the first step. Share your authentic self and watch as your relationships and personal development thrive. You want to thrive? 
Start this, that's more step in sharing your vulnerabilities to those you trust. Start small so that you know those who can trust and those who cannot trust. This lesson of life, embracing vulnerability, is the authentic part to connections, to deep connections, to freedom, to real love, great love, bonding love, agape love. You need it. So start today by sharing your vulnerability. You can learn more from what you read from my description link, but I'd like to have your feedback. Have you shared your vulnerability before? Have you been rejected or have you been, or, or I mean, have you been, has uh, somebody caused you a kind of failure? Or what do you think about sharing vulnerability? Reach out to me. Let me learn about your experiences. I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend.